Brooklyn Independent Television. And on behalf of the Brighton Neighborhood Association, I want to welcome you to the 34th annual Brighton Jubilee, which has become a Brooklyn tradition. Today we're going to go experience the sights and sounds of our community in our wonderful festival. So come, join me. Let's go. This is a dear friend and his lovely wife. This is Marty Snyder. Marty Snyder was very active in Brighton Beach. He was one of the first people who ran the Board of Trade and the bid program here. And I think that if he tells me the right thing, I, think, I know he's an expert when it comes to festivals and doing a good job at public relations. So what do you think about Jubilee today, Marty? Hello, this is Marty Snyder. I just want you to know this Jubilee is the best thing ever happened to Brighton. It keeps the people on the move and lets everybody know there is a great community. Good luck and we love you. I'm here with another good old friend, Popeye from Coney Island. How are you, Popeye? Oh, yeah, feeling good. Feeling good. Having a good time here. You got some bargains today, I understand. Yeah, I bought some clothes. Nice, nice variety of people. Good food here. Everybody's having a good time. Good music. Very nice. Beautiful day. Beautiful weather. Well, I've been visiting Coney Island. Lots happening in Coney Island as well, right? Oh, they're getting all new rides on October. Two big roller coasters are coming. And they got the actual lands all redone now. So it's, they're having a good time figuring it out. What kind of roller coasters? Bigger than the Cyclone? Yeah, they're, they're like you're getting great adventure, big roller coasters like that. Yeah. So it's going to be nice. And it's being built up very nice. Luna Park looks great. Looks very good, and everybody's gonna stay a couple more years, you know, to get their leases done, so. We have a really special vendor in the house today. This is Pickle Mania, Correct. and it's uh, gourmet pickles. And today, Mrs. What? Homework. This is homework. You brought how many specials uh, in pickles today? Seven different varieties. Would you describe what we, we have? have uh, hot and spicy, yeah. horseradish. Sour, half sour, garlic. But you brought us our, our Brighton Beach soul food here today, which we're very quickly. Sure did. <laughs> <laughs> this is sure Brighton Beach soul food. <laughs> we're at Seabreeze Park, also known as Asher Levy Park. You know, behind me here is a boulder in tribute to Theodore Roosevelt. He and his veterans of the Spanish War were honored here. They also encamped here. Not only did they come here to see Breeze Park, but every Thursday night you'll see thousands come here for Marty Mark with the Seaside Concerts. When you get down, you feel moody, he has some wonderful crystals to lift your spirit. Tell us about what you have. Well, we have a collection of minerals, mm -hmm. most of them that we import from Brazil. The idea of the crystal is to help to provide a nice atmosphere, a nice mood in your environment. Mm -hmm. And of course, we do understand that minerals do possess electromagnetic energy. Mm -hmm. And obviously, everything in the universe moves by energy and vibration. So we, help, we hope that we could provide a sense of harmony and peace for those who happen to uh, purchase one of our minerals. And boy, do we need harmony and peace in this world. This shirt here was made by Meryl. Meryl, what goes into making a shirt like this? It takes about, I would say, 45 minutes to an hour to do each shirt. Everyone is individually. We have very few that are the same. And I was worth every minute of it, but go ahead. <laughs> and we've been making them since 1978. Wow. And wow. this is our 20th year in the show. I have been buying Meryl's stuff at the Jubilee. And you know something? It washes well. Yes. It looks good. You can wear it dressy. We guarantee wear it all our shows. We yeah. have a website. Well, give me a website. The website is dazzlingduds.com. And we do all our own tie-dyeing. Everything is individual. 
mutual, no two shirts are the same. Mm -hmm. And we guarantee every shirt. And we have over uh, 2,000 shirts here today. Everyone is different. It's kind of going to look a retro because we have the peace sign. We have the peace sign. Hold on, put the mic on you. Oh, we have the peace wait. sign shirts. Okay, show the, the, the heart one, the oh, pink one. Look that design. Here, put that against you. This one is our heart and our wings. It has over 2,000 rhinestones in it. The shirt takes over an hour to make. Come on, let's dance. Community Hospital is here, and we're very proud to have them as a sponsor. They're kind of like an extended family for the Brighton Neighborhood Association, and we really thank Una Morrissey and, of course, Mr. Mo, the director, and what a great job they do at the hospital. And here is some great people from the hospital. Say hello here. Come in. Introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Danny Rosenfeld. I'm assistant director in the, in the emergency room at New York Community Hospital. Uh, mm -hmm. Today we're here to uh, do a blood pressure screening for all the uh, people here in the community and to give awareness for uh, blood pressure and stroke protocols that are uh, very much needed to know in, in this day and age. Mm -hmm. And would you like to say something? Let me just say something to all of you. Thank you. Your hospital saved my sister and you boost, last year you saved my aunt. So New York Community Hospital does wonderful things for the community and do wonderful things to raise the quality of life for the residents of Brooklyn. So thank you. You want to say something? Go ahead. Are you asking? Okay. We thank you. And his blood pressure was great. Our friend over here. Okay, good. Thank you for coming to me. Okay, and for being there. Behind me, magic is created all through the summer on Tuesday and Thursday nights. Thanks to Dominic Recchio's concerts on Tuesday, and Brooklyn Borough President's Concerts on Thursday. In fact, two weeks ago, I was here to see John Legend. Amazing. Our plans for the future will be a new amphitheater, which should bring even more cultural opportunity for the years to come. So come on down and see the magic. I want you to meet a young activist from our Russian community. He's a great journalist, a good friend of mine. In fact, recently he did a story in his a Russian newspaper on the Brighton Neighbor Association and the plight they were going through. But I'm so happy you came to the Jubilee. So what do you think? I think Brighton is the best place in the world. I live at Brighton Beach and I want to welcome everybody here. We have the best restaurant, the best cafe, great boardwalk and Brighton Neighborhood Association. You can choose anything you want here, you know, enjoy yourself. You know? <laughs> You're right. And t we have a lot of Russian culture in today's Jubilee as well. So I think that's a good thing. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. You can hear music, you can dance, you can eat, you know, you will never be hungry at Brighton Beach. And it's not boring here. It's like a lot of fun. So come and enjoy yourself. And the Jubilee is a, a Brooklyn tradition. So we welcome you to come here anytime. Next year, the 35th, come on down. Right. Yes. Come here every day. That's, right. <laughs> that's, that's true. Every day, is, every day is fun in Brighton. Yes. I love Brighton, that's why I live here, you know. In fact, in this show, we're going to visit the St. Petersburg bookstore. Hmm. And that was a fun store, too. Yes, a lot of bookstores here, and I like, like especially uh, books for kids. I have, like, six-year-old daughter, mm -hmm. and we always buy books in a, a, for kids' book section, you know, at Brighton Beach. Again, you don't need to leave Brighton Beach. You can enjoy everything here, right here, right now. You know? Right. <laughs> Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Pat, okay. for what you do. Travel Group, and they're one of our sponsors. And your name again, sir? Lev Kushner. Okay, and Maya Randall. Okay, Pilgrim Travel Group, is that servicing Russian community and American, uh, you know, English-speaking people, or what? Uh, sure, of course. We travel uh, all people who live in the United States. But to tell the truth, uh, first of all, uh, we serve for Russian-speaking community. But just spreading out a little bit to the English yeah. group. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure, sure. So tell me some, like, some of the countries that you are, is it going to Russia, or is it going to other parts of the Europe that you're 
target. Uh, no, uh, we are a tour operator company and we provide uh, all kinds of service uh, for all kinds of uh, residents. So uh, we sell tickets, we sell packages, but uh, what we try to do, we organize big Russian speaking uh, groups and provide service for them. The Russians picked up and did a, a tremendously courageous thing by picking up and leaving Mother Russia to come here. Where are they going from here? Uh, Europe. Back to Europe? Sure, sure. Uh, not to the former Soviet Union, of course, but uh, we have uh, a lot of great uh, trips uh, to Italy, France, Spain, Germany, uh, all, all, all around. We have, uh, have a lot of trips to uh, Caribbean. So I think what Lev is saying is that Russians are great consumers. They enjoy culture. They enjoy traveling. So you out there who have MasterCard and Visa, come aboard the Jubilee because these are people are sponsors and they're helping our organization and we appreciate them coming aboard too, the other airlines in the, in the field too. We're at the Ocean Parkway train station, which is MTA properties. Behind me is the Great Ocean Parkway Overbridge, which is, goes back to maybe the 1920s, if I got my history right. It's going through a very massive rehab right now, and behind me is some of the artwork that the MTA has decided to put on the walls of it to make it even more attractive. So again, by another year, we're going to see a beautiful new subway station here, and no more water coming down on your cars, okay? What would a stroll through the Brighton Jubilee be without my buddy here, Fred Williams and Lamika this year, right? Yes. Con Edison's in the house. What's new, Fred? Hey, Pat, as always, it's a joy to be here to celebrate the Brighton Jubilee. This year, the big push is the power of green. We want all our customers to know that we urge them to visit our website, www.conet.com. There's a lot of tips on saving energy. And also remember, if there's ever an energy problem, be sure to alert us, let us know about it. And we're always in the case 24 7, 365. This summer was not too bad, right? With the, uh, we, we had a couple of brownouts, but we, no blackouts, right? We were lucked out. We were very fortunate, and that's the result of our customers taking advantage of our energy efficiency programs. So, again, the power of green, stay green and save some green. I know I put the lights off in my house, and I put braille on the walls and try to walk around and save energy as well. <laughs> Listen, Pat, all those things help. We always advise customers to use air conditioners, alternate the ceiling fans. That always saves. And remember, the sunlight is still free, so close your blinds when it's hot. Keep the cool air in and the hot air out. Magic statement there. Thank you, Fred. <laughs> old, old bright night has been here for how many years? 34th. This is my 34th year at the Jubilee. Are you not loyal? <laughs> I am a loyal Brighton Beach person, absolutely. At, at, at Adler, right? Yes. I switched over from Coney Island to Brighton Beach, just a few miles down the beach. That was very nice of you. What do you think of the Jubilee? I think it's the best. It's the best year ever. It gets better and better every year. I wouldn't miss it for the world. So you moved out of Brooklyn, right, to Trader? I live in New Jersey. It's a far trip. It took us almost two and a half hours to get here today. But the Jubilee came back. We came back for the Jubilee, absolutely. We wouldn't miss it for the world. So did, did you find any interesting like, purchases to get here? Uh, well, we just enjoy the variety of vendors, and uh, we're looking for sheets for her mom and a couple Good. of other things for my granddaughters. Well, happy shopping. Okay. Thank you very much. And thank you for your loyalty. No problem. Okay. This is Shelly, and Shelly works in PS253, among her many hats. Thank you for coming to the Jubilee today. Thank you. This turnout is the best turnout I've ever seen. There's so many vendors and things to buy and eat that I don't know where to start. I've been walking back and forth trying to decide what to do. I bought sunglasses so far, but there's so much to, to do and see and eat that I have to start going slow back and forth again. Well, I'm glad you came down for the Jubilee. I just flew in from Puerto Rico last night on vacation, and I made sure that my plane would arrive last night so I would be here. I wouldn't miss it for nothing. Another loyal customer. I made sure <laughs> I came back in time. I booked my trip just for this. Thank you, Shelly. Okay, bye-bye. 
Download this program's podcast on iTunes. Keywords, Brooklyn Independent Television.